Good evening. This video is sponsored by Ulta Beauty. Every makeup product that I'm using in this video can be found at Ulta Beauty. All of them. Including the makeup for this one. Which is not only convenient, but if you are like me and you shop at Ulta Beauty quite often, there is a possibility that you already own the products that I'm going to be showing you for all the makeup looks and if you don't have them, they're easy to get. In this video, I'll be showing you three different types of looks that you guys can do with everyday makeup. All the products that I use for each look will be listed in the description. It's going to be a very large description because there's three looks looks I'm showing you guys in this video. I have also partnered with Ulta Beauty in past year's videos for Halloween, so I'm gonna link those as well just in case you want some other last minute ideas. If you enjoyed this video or any of the tutorials within this video, because there's gonna be a lot, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my curly ponytail, you guys aren't used to that. To create the super simple Ringmaster look, I'm first going to apply foundation. And I'm going to be using IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the color Fair. I'm then going to immediately set that using powder. Using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, I'm then going to prime my eyes. You can then apply an eyeshadow color that is closest to your skin tone. Using the Urban Decay Cherry Palette, I'm then going to take a pink shade and apply it in my crease as well as underneath my eye. Using Ulta Beauty Eyeshadow in the color Love Potion, I'm then going to apply that to my crease, my lid, underneath my eye, basically everywhere, but just kind of smaller scale than what we just did. Using a brighter red eyeshadow, I'm then going to do the exact same application, but even smaller. Using an angled brush, I'm then going to go back to the Love Potion eyeshadow and just add a little bit underneath my lower lash line. I'm then going to skip around a little bit and fill in my eyebrows, which I'll be using Urban Decay's eyebrow pencil. You can then go ahead and line your eyes using a black pencil liner and also a black liquid liner for your cat eye on the top. Before I add mascara, I'm also going to add a line of glitter right above my crease using Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. Apply mascara, which is Bad Gal Bang Mascara, is like my ultimate favorite mascara right now. I am actually at the end of the tube. I'm at the very end of the tube. For my lips, I'm then going to line them with a dark red lip liner and apply a darker red lipstick on top of that. And for my blush, I'll be using Tarte in the color Exposed. And of course, it's totally up to you if you want to wear false lashes or not. I personally want to see my line of glitter at all times. So I'm just going to leave my lashes as is. To start off on our super simple clown, I'm first going to apply foundation. If you need to apply concealer or want to apply concealer, you can also do that now. And I'm going to be using Tarte's foundation in the lightest shade possible. I'm then going to immediately set that using translucent powder. I'm then going to apply Urban Decay's Primer Potion on my lid as well as in a diamond shape around my eye. Doesn't need to be perfect. You can then add translucent powder over that. Now since we're going to be using eyeshadows to make this clown nice and colorful, you're going to want to have a palette that's going to have a lot of colors in it. And since they're already in an order that I pretty much agree with, I'm then just going to go straight down the line and apply it in a diamond type shape around my eye. This does not need to be perfect. In addition, if you run into any hard edges with any of the darker eyeshadows, you can blend that out using white eyeshadow. And 
for my other eye, I'm actually gonna go up the palette instead of going down. Using Ulta Beauty's black eyeshadow, I'm then going to apply it to my lids and my crease and a little bit underneath my eye. Don't even worry if it looks perfect or not because we're going to be making it messy anyways. You can then go ahead and line your eyes and I'm going to be using Urban Decay's eyeliner pencil. We're also going to smudge this out and make it messy. And for my top liner, I'm going to use a black liquid liner from Tarte. Continuing to use black liquid liner, I'm then going to draw the diamonds on both sides of my eyes. From here, we're going to very simply just apply a bunch of dots. We're going to be using various liquid eyeliners. Using the black liquid liner, I'm then going to fill in my lips. Now you can definitely leave the look here, or you can add a little bit of color around your lips and repeat the same dot process. Now you can leave it here, or you can continue this entire pattern down your neck. This would be my personal favorite way of doing this makeup, but like I said, you could do it in basically three different levels, really as high intensity as you'd like. I like to be intense. I'm then just gonna add on some eyelashes and pop my contacts in. And last but not least, our ventriloquist wooden doll. To start off, I'm going to apply foundation, but I'm going to mix a darker foundation into my foundation. I am the lightest shade of foundation, and to do this look, I'm planning on using a darker shade, a medium shade, and a light shade. If I don't mix a darker shade, I will not have a lighter shade. <laughs> I am very pale. I'll be applying a foundation a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. That way I will have a highlight color foundation. Now the only area I'm going to set right now is my eyelids really quick. That way they don't crease while I'm working on the rest of the foundation. Going one step lighter to what my natural foundation would be, I'm then going to highlight where the planks would be in my face. And when doing this, you mainly want to highlight along the cheekbones, along your nose, your forehead, areas that would normally be a highlight to begin with. But we're also going to be adding it in different spots just as the different highlights of the wood itself. You can then set your foundation using translucent powder. Using a medium shade of brown eyeshadow, I'm then going to contour my cheeks to make them look rounder, more like a ventriloquist dummy. I'm also going to darken up a little bit on the sides of my nose. Using the same color brown eyeshadow, I'm then going to go in with an angled brush and start to separate the planks in my face as well as add the puppet mouth lines right in here. Now 
Using a slightly darker brown eyeshadow, I'm then going to separate the planks even more and add a little bit more shading. Also when working on the mouth, it's really important that you only shade towards the center and don't go the opposite way. That way it'll push your jaw back. Continuing to use the same dark brown, I'm then going to start to add wood grain in each individual plank. Using Ulta Beauty's gray eyeshadow, I'm then going to add more shading underneath the cheekbones as well as in the jaw area. After that, I'm also going to use a little bit of black eyeshadow from Ulta Beauty and just push my jaw back even further. Now you guys can see why I needed to use a slightly darker foundation. Going back to my skin tone foundation, which is very pale, I'm then going to highlight the wooden planks as well as add highlights throughout the rest of the planks that don't have knots in them yet. You can then very lightly set all of this using translucent powder. To start on our eyes, I'm first going to lay down Urban Decay Primer Potion. We're then just going to continue using the exact same color palette that we have for the rest of our face because I don't want to make my eyes like too colorful and intense. I want to keep it more along the lines of everything looking like wood. So I'm first going to lay down a very light transitional color on my lid. Using a medium brown eyeshadow, I'm then going to apply that to my crease and a little bit underneath my eye, also leaving a gap for a white section right underneath the eye because we're going to enlarge our eyes since we are a puppet. Going in with our darkest brown eyeshadow, I'm then going to apply that to my crease and take an angled brush and chisel out underneath my eye. Going back in with black eyeshadow, I'm then going to lightly add that to my crease as well as a little bit underneath my eye. Using Ulta Beauty's white eyeshadow, I'm then going to apply that to my lid and right underneath my waterline. You can then go ahead and line your eyes using a black liquid liner on the top and a white liquid liner underneath your lower lash line. Apply mascara, and you can then go back to your liquid liner and fill in your eyebrows. Totally optional, you absolutely do not need to wear contacts with this look, but I'm going to pop in some lighter contacts, then put some false eyelashes on, which I definitely would recommend for this type of look. Get some nice big fluff at once. And you know what, the Ardell Wispies, that's the eyelashes I have on right now, I love these eyelashes. Like not only do I love them for this look, I think I'm actually in love with them. I'm being serious. And finally, I'm going to draw on my lower lashes using liquid eyeliner. Thank you once again to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love you guys. Goodbye.